Guys, it is Dr. Eric here, also Dr. Prodigy, also Michelle, depending on when you started watching this channel. And I think it's time to go to the Academy right now. I have been playing my godson's account. He's too old to play Prodigy and he's got tons of gemstones. We have Firefly Forest, Shiver Chill Mountain, Skywatch, and Bonfire Spire. I think it's just time to see if we can just go up and see what happens. So um, we are doing third grade questions and um, I'm not a member with this account and we're gonna see, I think we're gonna have to fight all right, push the button. No, we are gonna fight Pippet, aren't we? Go. Oh, I forgot to change my pets. This is gonna be an epic battle. Okay, so we are on third grade. We are focusing on word problem shapes. Word problem shapes. Okay, here we go. Draw a shape with six sides. Which did you draw? Well, we technically don't have to draw the six sides because we know six immediately means hexagon. But a good way to do six-sided figures, even number, is to put two on the top and then two on the bottom. And that looks awful. <laughs> Let's try again. I should probably move my tablet a little bit closer. So we put two on the top put a dot here, a dot here, and then connect our dots as best as we can. Now, this is a six-sided figure. It is a hexagon. It is not a regular hexagon because all the sides aren't the same, but it is still a hexagon nonetheless. All right, let's see what we can do with the pipette because this is crazy. Um, cold snap seems to be the best option. work. All right, let's see the enemy's turn. That looked pretty violent. And another one. No. No, 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 no. I thought we were ready to battle up here. This is crazy. All right, we have another word problem. If you had to build a play crown that had four sides of two different lengths, what would the shape be? Well, obviously a rectangle because a circle, oh my gosh, here comes the high school definition of a circle. A circle is the set of all points. So this green big, the circumference is really what a circle is. The set of all points equidistant from a common point. So obviously if it has four sides, circles don't have sides. So rectangle is the correct answer. Let's see if we can get Pippet now. Um, this one. Drench, come on, get Pippet. Yes. <gasps> Why do they have to make things so difficult? Okay, a shape with six vertices. Six vertices is six dots. Vertices are corners of a polygon. Okay, so right away we know if it has six that it's got to be a hexagon because it has six sides and six corners. A pentagon has five. Like in the United States, our Department of Defense is at the Pentagon and the Pentagon has five sides, five floors, five rings, five, 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 five. All right, looks like we're doing down. Make it count, make it count. I knew it was gonna go for the 19. I knew it. I knew that's what they were gonna do. I knew it. I don't know. This is gonna be super tough. <sighs> They're gonna make us do more word problems. Uh, Pippet. Phew, Pippet fumbled. Whoa, down portal on us. That was crazy. All right, here's another word problem. Four different shapes are in a bag. A pentagon, pentagons have five sides. A rectangle, a rectangle has four sides. A hexagon, a hexagon has six sides. And a heptagon, a heptagon has seven sides. You pick out a shape with seven vertices. Well, remember that regular polygons and well, not even just regular ones, but the sides have to match the angles. So a heptagon that has seven sides also has seven vertices or corners or angles, depending on what type of problem you're solving. All right, 
right, let's see which spell is better. Bubble Valley seems to be better. And that best pivot again! Come on! Down portal. Get pivot, get pivot, get pivot. Yes! Critical damage, critical damage, critical damage. Alright, another word problem. How many sides ooh, are on two octagons? Now let's look at the prefix of octagons. We have oct. Remember, oct is just like octopus, which has eight. So if we have two eight-sided figures all together, that gives us not 12, 16. is really trying to hold on. Come on. All right, we resisted. Great job. First make Devin had a nice resist. We had a miss. All right. Oh, we lost one of our pets. All right, let's do another word problem. How many sides are on one square? One square. Squares have four sides. And one pentagon. And we just had this shape earlier. One, two, three, four, five. It's definitely not a regular pentagon because all the sides aren't the same, but it is a five-sided figure. So we've got four plus five, which is, yeah, you could have selected that for me a minute ago. Great job. Let's see what we can do here. I think we just got to keep going with, uh, we'll try Bubble Valley. Okay, goodbye, Pippet. Later. Ice cubicle. Good aim. They keep making us do more questions. All right, the enemy is gonna go. You're not gonna defeat us, enemy. No way. No way. No way. Okay. Two squares and one pentagon. This will probably be our last question of the video. So we know one square has four sides. But we have two squares, so that's another four sides. And we have a pentagon. Well, that's almost better. And a pentagon has five sides. So four plus four is eight. Eight plus five is 13. Okay. Bye. This guy's just done. You want, you want the one with the best aim, excellent aim. That's the one. What? We still resisted. Unbelievable. All right, let's see what we get for our prizes. 55 battle stars. We got ourselves some rewards going on. I don't care about being a member. All right, well, let's see what we oh, can no. do now. Oh, the puppet master will <gasps> not like this. The master will not like this. We defeated Pippet. in the next video. Bye guys.